on this episode. I drift my Sylvia with a bunch of skylines and we go to Gunsai Toge to see A86s in their natural habitat. <laughs> Regular viewers probably recognize this building by now. We're at a Gunsai once again, but I'm not driving the S15 today. This is an A86 event. It's being run by Garage Infinity, and they do up all their cars in this uh, sort of desert patina look to it, like that. And if you like Hachiroku, this video is for you. If you don't like them, well, it's not for you, because that's all we have here today. So as always, we'll go for a walk through the pits, see what's here. It will go out on the Toge track and stand on one of the corners. As long as you can laugh about it. <laughs> All right, this looks good until uh, we come around the front here. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of parts of this track where it's quite easy to go off and hit a tree, which is what it looks like has happened here. <laughs> coming to get us now and I'm pretty sure this is where Kaicho hit the wall that's his red and that's also his red you might want this back oh here it comes so <laughs> あ、あれ、乗っていいよ。あ、あそこ。ごめんごめんごめん。そう。そうだよね。俺があげないとダメ。うう。あ、there's leaves in my shoes. 
Actually, it's kind of dangerous. I shouldn't do that there. <laughs> Ooh. You kick on a cousin. It's turned into a clown car, look. <laughs> I think it's time for a hot chocolate. Alright. Let's see if we can. Oh, is this it? Oh, I found it. There we go. Just like new. Uh, Kaito's flying his drone. Hachiroki <laughs> yori. There's a donut and coffee truck. And check this out. It looks like an old combi, but it's not. It's actually a, a Subaru Sambar with a, a skin on it. And I'm gonna get a hot chocolate and a uh, donut. See, this front cowl section is just one piece that you can take off, so it has the uh, old school Volkswagen look to it. And not only that, it's got uh, yeah, Euro style wheels as well. Look, the stir is a cat. How's that for track food? Especially in a place like this. Remember on the intro where I said I only have A86 stuff to show you today? Well, I lied. As you can see by the uh, skyline and laurel behind me, we're out here today at Nico Circuit for the RB meeting by Secret Garage Seo. There's Seo's car there, and you may remember him as the uh, I Want Long Champs guy. What are you, Long Champs. I don't currently have an RB engine car that works. I do have uh, the S15 Silvia though, so I thought I'd come out and enter the uh, etc class. That's literally what it's called. It's just the other cars. Uh, mostly because this is going to be the first time I actually get to drive with Seo-san. Okay, here we go. Circuit. Yeah, on the sump parts, I got to about here, it's like bop, 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 and it uh, ruined my transition back, and I went all the way out there. I think it was maybe the first time I've done that in this car. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, well. Still fun though. 
All right, time for a survey. Write your favorite Skyline in the comments. Is it R32 two-door, R32 four-door, R33 two-door, R33 four-door, R34 two-door, or R34 four-door? I kind of like this US kitted R34 GTT. Anyway, back to the A86 action. All right, you all need to start learning these Hachiroku stickers. Team Seoul and uh, Kaso Subashiri. Kaso Subashiri is from Subashiri in uh, there near Mount Fuji. Hey, Seoul is the... hey, Shizuoka. Shizuoka, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. They're from Shizuoka as well. So, around uh, Mount Fuji. You're getting the Hachiroku teams. This guy too. This is uh, a lot of the Kaso Subashiri cars are in this color. It's a uh, sort of metallic green, and that's their logo there. Here's Kaicho's car. This time the front bumper not damaged at all. Sort of the running gag is that every event he damages the front bumper, but this time it's not the front; it's the rear. Yeah, he's uh, tagged one of the barriers. And you know what he's most upset about? It's not the bodywork. It's this missing piece of uh, reflector. Because these things are really expensive these days. So he's looking for this. He's probably going to go out the track uh, after the event is finished and go look for it. Also, I feel kind of bad for his passengers. What is going on here? There you go, the uh, Doraemon helmet and... Like, Dora Heru to Tsunagite. Like, za this ne. Za. And I can hear a hammer. Uh, yeah, front end doesn't look too happy either. And, um, oh. What do they say about measure twice, cut once? There you go. That was the. No, I'm the yeah, drifting, nothing ever changes. There we go, 4 a with big Webbers. All right, next team. There goes Kaicho. Team uh, Nigai Warai. It's making that nice flat slide rattle. That uh, clanking sound is the <laughs> flat slide carburetors. So the team name Nigai Warai means like, uh, like pain to laugh. As in like this, like, <laughs> like that. Like forced laugh, I think is the, is the, the meaning of it. I don't know why they chose that, but that's what it means. Like, <laughs> right? color a teal a light teal it's got the Presidio demon camber wheels bit of a classic Bunny. this guy's going good but these fenders uh, on their last legs uh, it's one way to get around uh, expensive headlights and uh, indicators these days. Now this, I'm really happy to see this car. What this is is a Daihatsu SA. This is what it normally looks like. Okay, but it's been done up in, I'm guessing this is a Peugeot 106 rally sort of livery. Now there's a bit of a history behind this car. This belonged to some guys up in Hokkaido. And I used to follow their Instagram a lot because they had a bunch of cars that looked really cool and they'd go out uh, and I guess uh, do street driving together. And what made them interesting was that they were all four wheel drive cars that had been converted to rear wheel drive. And yeah, it's always like they had this really cool looking rear end on them where they cut out the, the rear gate. I just, I just thought it looked really cool. So the guy did this conversion where he did this like wide body 
rally look to it. Then one day he put it up on Twitter saying the car was for sale and I was like, Ugh, I want to buy it, but it's all the way up in Hokkaido because uh, he was selling it super cheap and I just thought it'd be kind of funny. And here it is. So it actually belongs to a guy who lives locally to this area in Gunma. And uh, he said he, he went up to Hokkaido for work. He just happened to be up there. So he bought it and uh, brought it back. And honestly, this would be the perfect car to have in Gunma in the winter because it snows here. Like this whole area is all covered in snow uh, during winter. Here we go. And the engine, normally it's a 660cc non-turbo, but this is the turbo engine out of the Move, which is a slightly bigger car. It's like a, a small wagon. Okay, this is kind of interesting. See this fender here? This is a Nissan Silvia front fender. <laughs> if you can see the shape. This is the normal body line, and this has been like cut and bent back. That's really smart. So it's like a metal fender. S13 Silvia uh, front fender. It's really clever. Why not subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this? And also, if you want to see the content before everyone else and help push it forward, like these people here, these are my tier 3 subs over on Patreon.com. Uh, you get to see the videos early, you get to vote on stuff like, for example, what wheels are going to go on the Pro Box? We've already decided that. Uh, we did a little survey and I made some uh, like images of how it's supposed to look. Is the car. This is how it came here today in the Pro Box. It's still stock, but I've got a whole bunch of parts for it, so that's going to come up soon too. Uh, we got D1 Grand Prix this month. I'm going to be broadcasting live on Twitch, actually, in the uh, pits. If you don't watch Twitch, I suggest you do, because we broadcast on there live video. It's kind of cool. Next D1 Grand Prix is going to be at uh, the Ebisu Bank course. First time ever. That should be interesting. There they go. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. I noticed recently that the new Need for Speed game that's coming out has a big emphasis on fashion. Okay, so what do you think? Rate my drip. Got the uh, the new era fitted cap. I got the Team Liquid, right? Oversized stonewash hoodie. Uh, I got the uh, Lowe's Australia reinforced knee worker pants and these are my favorite shoes to drift in by the way the uh, half cabs by vans there you go rate me out of 10 also rusty car